on a ship sailing in Pacific Ocean where temperature is 23.4 degrees Celsius, a balloon is filled with 2 liter air. What will be the volume of the balloon when the ship reaches Indian Ocean, where temperature is 26.1 degree Celsius? So, this is the problem given to us. The first thing always once we look into the problem is to write down all the given data. So, let us write what are all the things given to us. V1 is 2 liters. The balloon is filled with 2 liter air. So, that is V1, volume 1. Then T1 is given to us as 23.4 degrees Celsius. We need to convert it into Kelvin scale. So, 23.4 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvin will give us the value as 296.4 Kelvin. Then the next thing given to us. Temperature of the Indian Ocean is found to be 26.1 degree Celsius. So, T2 is given to us. Let us convert this also into Kelvin scale. 26.1 plus 273 will give the value as 299.1 Kelvin. And what is that we are supposed to find out? What will be the volume of the balloon when the ship reaches Indian Ocean? So, we are supposed to find out the volume 2 that is V2. Now, which is the formula which is going to relate V1, T1, V2, T2? That is Charles' law. So, according to Charles' law, we know that V1 by T1 is equal to V2 by T2. What we are supposed to find out? V2. Therefore, V2 is equal to V1 by T1 into T2. Now, let us substitute in this formula all the given values that are there in the problem and let us see what is the value we are going to get. V2 equals V1. V1 we know is 2 liters into T2. T2 is 299.1 Kelvin divided by T1. T1 is 296.4 Kelvin. On simplifying this, we get the value as 2.018 liters. Such a simple problem. If you solve in the method that has been shown to you, you will be able to score complete 2 marks. Care should be taken by the student not to get panicked by looking at the problem. First, you write down all the given data. Also, write down what you are supposed to find out. Then, think about the formula which is going to relate all the given data. Then, as per the formula, you will be able to calculate and arrive at the correct answers. Keep practicing. All the best.